The Australian economy is a trend to nowhere and I'm going to prove this by showing you some data around employment. What's apparent to me from looking at these graphs was that the average Australian have got on this train ride and are still oblivious to the destination being a place they don't want to be in. Many are still pretending that the left or the right will come into power and sweep Australia into a new wave of prosperity. Those days are gone and they've been replaced with identity politics. I know that's going to be unpopular with a lot of uh, my viewers. I want to show you this graph of employed persons because it demonstrates how the federal government and the RBA are not on the same page. The reason the central bank jacks up interest rates is to counter inflation. Otherwise, we'd just have cheap rates and money would be easy to get for everyone. The idea is that a recession comes along and the central bank do their thing and lower interest rates. If things are bad enough, government comes in and they provide fiscal stimulus. By the way, I'm not an economist or a property expert or anything like that. I've run my own mortgage brokerage down here in Melbourne for the last 13 years and I've had front row seats to the unfolding economic situation that most normal people are feeling. I talk about this stuff because I feel something needs to be said. For example, I believe people under 40 are getting a raw deal. But at the same time, they have to play the hand they're dealt. Anyway, if you don't agree with something I've said, please feel free to set me right in the comments. Just be nice. The recession in 2020 was probably one of the shortest recessions in history. And to be fair, our leaders were forced with the worst pandemic in their lifetimes, and they didn't know how bad the problem was going to get. In the end, economically speaking, it didn't turn out to be that bad. Unfortunately, we turned the taps on the whole way, and as a result, we got inflation. The RBA did their part, and they increased interest rates steeply. Many are critical of the RBA, but I'm more critical of the federal and state governments. From the hours work chart, you can see that from 2020, non-market sector jobs have skyrocketed. These are industries of public administration and safety, healthcare and social assistance, and education and training. A fair share of this job creation has been the much maligned NDIS. What's more concerning here is that there are market sector jobs that are paid for by government spending. For example, all this infrastructure spending that's been happening is employing a lot of people, but that is considered the market sector. So things in the real economy are bad. How bad they are, we're not going to know until we experience the worst of it. Let me say another thing that some people won't like. You get recessions because you have debt. I should add to that you have an expandable money supply. When a recession comes along, the bad actors in the economy disappear because they can't meet their commitments. Unless it's modern times. For example, Virgin Airlines right at the start of the pandemic put their hands up and said, we can't do this. Not even a month had passed and they didn't have enough cash. I'm sorry, but by supporting these businesses, we are supporting poor standards. Our governments are just enabling poor behavior. Recessions work well because when demand comes back, the workers are incentivized to work hard. Otherwise, they might be out of a job. Increasing public sector jobs is going to end badly. Our economy works on government collecting revenue and then paying for all their expenses. Now, they collect revenue in many different ways, one of them being your income tax. If they're increasing the amount of jobs that they pay for, then it has to be paid by increasing the revenue they bring in, either in the short term or the long term. Now, if all these big multinational corporations get away with paying no tax, then our governments aren't just going to start taxing them now, are they? Shout out here to Punters Politics if you want to learn more about that topic. What I'm saying is we're going to pay for this. The point at which our governments get on the same page with this will be the start of our recovery. I don't know when that is, but scarily it could go on for a while. Our national debt, despite being elevated from previous decades, is still in comparison quite low when you compare it with other Western countries. America is north of 120% debt to GDP, and we are only around 40%. This data suggests to me that it's unlikely the external environment is going to change anytime soon. This means that at an individual level, more needs to be done to achieve people's desired financial outcomes. People are now focused more on paying down debt, which is actually normal. The Latin meaning of the term mortgage is death pledge. Look it up. Over thousands of years, this is how debt has been viewed, and that is why our parents didn't like debt. 
Anyway, I know this is a bit weird because I'm a mortgage broker. However, it's a truth that needs to be said. The more debt you carry, the harder it is to achieve your financial lifetime needs. By the way, I'm putting a program together to help people get rid of debt as soon as possible. There are several easy strategies that you can stack together and get those benefits compounding to get rid of that debt ASAP. Here's just a quick one, 500 grand loan, 6.5% 30 year loan. Let's say you refinance that to 6.14% loan and all you're doing is you're keeping the same repayments. People don't believe me when I say this, but it can make a difference by 100 grand, but it's true. All you need to do is look at the time you've saved by paying the home loan off quicker and then multiply that by the amount of months of the repayments to when you would have paid the home loan off. If you wanna work with me, you can find my details and shoot me an email. Anyway, the tough times are coming despite the government interfering and trying to fix things but failing dismally. If you find this content helpful, please give the channel a subscribe. Cheers.